Anyway, short graduation is your typical short back and sides. You're all going to be doing a cut one today, no clippers still, because obviously some of you have still got quite long blocks, but it would just mean that you are going to be sort of doing the shape still, so you, we can start going shorter and shorter with the cutting, all right? With this one, anybody know the angle that we're going to cut at? 45. 45, yeah. So this one here, we're going to do a 45 degree angle going in here, all right, and on the sides. Then you're going to go into your 90, but obviously for this one here, because it's already quite short, I'll probably just leave the top, but I'll show you how to just sort of blend that in. But for you guys, depending on how long your block is, is depending on where we'll go with it. Does that make sense? So we'll come around to you individually. Right, so what's the first thing I'm going to do on a haircut? Right, yeah. Yep, I'm going to put my guideline in. It's not very straight, this one. So set my guideline. I should take it a bit shorter. This block molts on me, so that's why I sort of thought I'm just going to bring it in and start using it in here. Start short shortcuts. But for those of you that are longer, you're just going to be keeping it quite down here. All right, with your longer blocks. So then when we start doing the angling, it's up to you if you're going to go fingers in, okay? So the fingers will be sort of like if I take my section that way so my fingers are into the nape or whether I'm going to go this way where my knuckles are into the nape but my fingers are coming out, all right? Depends on which way you find easier. There's no right or wrong way, just literally depends on how you find easier to cut. I'm following my guideline, and as you can see up there, it just goes up through. Should do this on a Google Meet, really, and then it would be on the big screen, wouldn't it? Think of that for next time. Okay, so you, each time you can see I'm always following my guideline and also you can see there's no hair to cut at the top. <laughs> Here my knuckles are in to the nape, my fingers are away from the head. So if you're going this way with your fingers, your fingers are in, your knuckles are away from the head. If you're going in with your knuckles at the bottom, your fingers are away from the head. Okay? Does that make sense? We will help you, all right? We'll sort of figure out which way is easiest for you. Then when we come up here, there might not be much to really cut off on this section. So you can see here, I've literally got just tiniest amount. Just turn my camera slightly. So the tiniest amount there, all right? And that's all it is, just to sort of blend that in. But you can see now my angle is not as far over. It's sort of straightened up slightly, okay? Because I'm going to go into the 90 degree that you've already done. Any questions? You're all very quiet. Is it because the camera's on? Oh. <laughs> it's 
So this one here is 40 into your 90. Literally, you can see I'm not, I can't take much more off because it's a longer one. Because this is longer, that's why. But you can see the difference from your uniform layer now. You can see the shape's gone in shorter. So I haven't took loads off. I don't know if you can see that around there. All right. So I haven't taken loads off, but it does... I'll just take it off for a minute so it shows all of you. It's not taking loads off, but you can see now that's going into the neck. All right. So what I want you to do, those of you, I'll turn 